In Subordinate Spirit, a true story of life and loss in earliest America chronicles the fascinating life of Elizabeth Winthrop, one of the first settlers of 17th century America. It is written by local historian Missy Wolf, who joins us now on Connecticut Stats. Nice to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. So what's interesting is this book takes place in southern Connecticut uh, in the early 1600s. Yes. Uh, I suppose, what was daily life like then? Daily life in the area that I write about is mm -hmm. southwestern Connecticut, near the Stamford and Greenwich border. Okay. And at that point in time, the the Dutch had already been here on uh, in Fort Amsterdam on Manhattan, and they imagined that they had unlimited sovereignty up to Maine, but the English had landed in Boston, and they too wanted unlimited sovereignty from Boston all the way south. So the two collided right at the border of Stamford and Greenwich. And that's where Elizabeth Winthrop moved in the 1600s. She was a founder of Greenwich, but they moved right into the middle of a violent Indian war. Okay, uh, let's talk more about Elizabeth Winthrop. Um, some of the other details. The, the Puritan founder of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, who, who came to Boston 10 years after the Pilgrims landed at Plymouth on Plymouth Rock, they came really because they uh, didn't like what was going on in England at the time, the religion uh, that was in turmoil over there. And so they came here to, to live and create a pure society. That's why they were called Puritans. Mm -hmm. So he landed in Boston, but his sister had a daughter, Elizabeth, who was Elizabeth Winthrop. Okay. And, and so she married John Winthrop's son. Cousins married each other. Okay. And then her sister also married the other son of his. So it was cousins marrying cousins. <laughs> so John Winthrop, the governor, was her father-in-law and uncle. Okay. She, on hen, Her husband, uh, Henry Winthrop, was the guy that she married, the son. He drowned his very first day here in America. So she had a child by him, and living conditions were very tight. So mm -hmm. she quickly married a second man, Robert Feek, who ended up going insane. Wow, she's had a tough life. She was just a very typical teenager in London. She worked in her family's pharmacy or apothecary shop. And the life that happened to her was so amazing, violent, terrifying. And then what she did with her life was entirely amazing. Well, let's talk about how she evolved a little bit. Yes. Well, when she, when she married Robert Feek, they lived in Watertown for nine years. And they lived right next door to a, a military man, uh, Daniel Patrick who was kicked out of the Bay Colony because he was a serial adulterer okay, and um, disagreed with John Winthrop. He agreed with Anne Hutchinson, and I get into the r reason for that. So they kicked him out of the Bay. They were neighbors of the Feeks, and the Feeks and the Patricks then, everyone had heard about the beauty and richness of the Connecticut River Valley, and no one had come yet. So, you know, there are vast tracts of land that nobody owned. No one had purchased them yet, or the Dutch hadn't been enforcing their claims, so they were seemed to be available for the taking. People migrated quickly out of Boston down into Connecticut. Mm -hmm. They formed the, they settled at New London. They formed the New Haven Colony here in New Haven. Uh, New, New, and Hartford, it was called the Connecticut Colony. And Stamford had been established. Mm -hmm. So these people, Elizabeth Winthrop Feek, moved just beyond Stamford to Greenwich, what we know now today as okay. Greenwich. They didn't really know which jurisdiction it was because they couldn't live in Stamford because Daniel Patrick, their neighbor and friend, was such, he was really a, a bad apple, <laughs> a, a, really a lout and a, not, a nasty guy. Mm -hmm. Stanford wouldn't have him in their town. So they had to move beyond Stanford to Greenwich. Missy, we have so much uh, history in our little state here, and it's all in the book. Tell me again where the book is available. The book is available online. Many, many bookshops on, uh, are, are, you know, the typical ones online. Very it's good. really probably the easiest. Well, we're out of time. We're going to have to read it, Missy. Thank you so much okay. for being here. And stay with us. More Connecticut Style after the break. We'll be right back. Yeah.